I'm very excited to have Vi Hart visiting the office over here. And we were just having a very mathematical conversation earlier today. And she mentioned something that is fascinating. Yeah, I was just telling Sal about a cool thing called Benford's Law. Benford's Law. And, and what is Benford's Law? It's this weird phenomenon that you get when you're looking at numbers in the real world. So, for example, we've got some graphs here. If you take the populations of all the countries and you say, all right, what is the first digit of, of the population of the country, whether it's 1 million or 1,000 or 100,000, we'll say, okay, that starts with 1. So we'll count up all, all of the countries that start with 1, and I guess here we've got 27 of them. Yes, um, about 27. So literally, like like anything that starts with a 1 here. So it could be a country that has a population of 1, a population that has a population of 17, or a population of 1 billion, 300 million, blah, 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 blah. They would all fall into this bucket right over here. Right. And then if you start with 2, you fall in the second bucket, and so on and so forth. So better yeah. color. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, better, definitely better color. Better color, oh, that's yeah, great. yeah, that's the blue, um, better contrast. So the question is, all right, you'd think you'd have kind of random numbers here. Yes, for that first digit, like it's kind of random. Yeah, I mean, there's huge differences in populations of countries. Some have right. billions and, and some have, I don't I don't know what the smallest population is. Yes, but it's like, like Montenegro or something like that. Yeah, um, so... Well, Montenegro's not a country. What am I thinking? I'm thinking of, uh, what, what's the one that's on the French River? Anyway, we can edit that out. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I, I would be interested to see it for populations of states and everything. Um, the Vatican is the smallest country, I believe. Yeah, is, does that still count? I guess. I it, think it the Vatican count. counts. They have their own. Yes. Uh, I, I don't know exactly yeah. what the requirements okay. were to be. But it, to, it would to include the Vatican, which I think would it be would. in like the thousands. Yeah, and so so why would this happen? Why would you see more ones than twos? Like. Yeah, what is and, going and on? it's not some small, some small chance. I mean, we were talking also about the idea that it is more likely to have, it is more likely to have odd numbered uh, uh, addresses than even numbered. You were, were, we were talking about yeah, that earlier. Yeah, I just learned about that recently. Yes, but that's not and a that huge. That makes sense. That makes sense because every house will have a number one on it. Right. Every or street, 10. if if your street starts, you know, with house number one, house number two, house number three. Right. Or if or you have an odd number yes. of houses, then your your street has more odd numbers. Than exactly. Numbers. And if you have an even number, you have the same amount. Right. Right. But that's starting with one, which is odd. Whereas here, uh, populations don't start with one. Exactly. And and that phenomenon that we're talking about with the street numbers, it's not an extreme phenomenon. It's like 50 point some, oh, it's a slightly more, you have a slightly higher probability of having uh, 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 an odd numbered house or, or, or I guess a, a one house than, a, than everything else. Yeah, it's kind of exactly what you would expect. It's exactly what you expect. But here... Here, it's a significantly higher probability of, of, of a random country's population that its first digit is a one versus its first digit is an, is an eight or a nine. I mean, it seems, it seems a, little bit, a little bit strange. Yeah, and this isn't just in countries. Yes. You see this if you're looking at a lot of financial um, stuff, like yes, how much money does a company make? Yes, it, it, the, the ones just show up as a first digit much more frequently. Much more frequently, yeah. And uh, here we have another fancy graph. Um, which is like completely crazy. It's the first digit of physical constants. So what what would be examples of some physical constants? Like I, I I'm assuming that there and we don't we don't we weren't able to figure out exactly what they applied here, but I'm assuming it's things like the gravitational constant, Planck's constant, and this seems kind of crazy to me because it, it depends on the units that you're using. It depends on a whole bunch of you know things that you have to assume about it. But even when you use these these kind of arbitrary physical constants, which I'm assuming they're doing here. The, the first, the most significant digit in these, in these physical constants is still much more likely to be one. It almost exactly follows Benford's law, and it's, 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 it, it kind of gives you goose pimples. It's, yeah. It's, so uh, the challenge here is to, oh, by the way, Benford is, is the uh, guy with the glasses. Oh, there. yes, yes. You yeah. might be wondering, that, you know, these, these aren't, yes, these are. These, these, the, they're not this, both Benford. This, but these are not Benford, Benford pre-shave pre and at post-shave. No. 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 This right here, this right here is Benford. And obviously it was named after him, Benford's Law. But but we put this gentleman who who didn't shave. Yeah, the cool guy with the beard is Simon Newcomb. Simon Newcomb. And, and not, not Duke Newcomb. Not, not Duke Newcomb. And we put him here because he's actually the first person who stated Benford's Law. He obviously did not call it Benford's Law. And he law. had the better beard. And, and he so had, I yes, the most more, he was overall more imposing character. Hmm. At least to me. 
This yeah. guy looks a little bit like Harry Truman. Maybe this is Harry. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. That's a, yeah, uh, maybe I've got the wrong picture. Anyway, let's just... Whoa. So the question is, what is kind of the pure case of this? I mean, when you got this random data, you see some fluctuations. Like in right. our country, right, there, there are... It's, it's pretty close, though. It's pretty countries. close It's pretty close. Yeah, and our sample curve. size is pretty low. Right, I mean, right, right, right. right. You, when There's you've like, only got... Like 200 countries or something like that. Yeah. yeah it, so it went up by it like 15 after follow, the Soviet right. Union fell and all of that. But yeah, it's not a huge number of countries. And even physical constants... I don't know how many physical constants they randomly sampled over here, uh, but it is shockingly close to, to Benford's law curve. But, but there's, there's kind of a more pure way of studying it. Right. So um, when we look at this other graph, this is kind of like the pure Benford's law. Pure Benford's law. So that's this curve that all these that were kind of fitting to that other uh, more rough data. Mm -hmm. and, and what's amazing here is that if we take kind of pure mathematical constructs, like the powers of two, or... Uh, or the Fibonacci series. If you just, you'd think that in the Fibonacci series you're adding all this stuff up, and why... And if you just take the first yeah. digit... Just the first and, digit. And, ...and put them in these piles, you, it would actually exactly match Benford's law. Like, not, no deviation. It is exactly... Right. mathematically. Mathematically. Just... So let, just, let's just be clear, because this is, this is fascinating. So if you were to take the powers of two, so you get one, two, four, uh, eight, sixteen, 32, 64, uh, I'm going to go pretty high so you can start to see how we're doing this, 128, 256, 512. And you just keep going on and on forever with every power of 2. And you say, OK, how many of these start with a 1? And you would go and, and you would say, well, you know, this starts with a 1. This starts with or the most significant digit is 1. That starts with a 1. That starts with a 1. And you would just find the percentage that start with a 1. And then you would you'd, you'd plot it on. on you would give the ones that credit for that percentage. And then you'd say, OK, the ones that start with a 2. And you'd say, OK, that starts with a 2, and that starts with 2. And, but we want to keep going on this. And we could probably do this with a computer program or something where we go really high powers of 2. Mm -hmm. and, and, then you would, and then you would say, what percentage of all of these powers of 2 start with a 2? You would, you would say, get this percentage right over here. This problem, the number that start with a 9, you would get this. And you would perfectly match Benford's law. Yeah. This seems magical. It's it does seem pretty magical. And, include, and, Fibonacci, and this isn't just for powers of 2. This is powers of any number. Uh, almost any number. If I, there's I believe special it might be cases. Every, every number. If, oh, oh, well, yes, powers not, of 1. 1 would not work. And then there's work, like right. powers of 10. Powers of 10 would not work as well, yes. But every other numbers powers that kind of, of mix zero. it up a little bit. Yes. The, every okay. no, You are correct. Every number that would mix it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It has to have a certain <laughs> amount of, of mixing it up a little bit. Right, right. But every yes, they would, they would exhibit Benford's distribution. And so we want to challenge you to think about why that is. And maybe you could even put your own explanations in, in, in our little message board on, on either YouTube or our page if, if you're curious. But we'll challenge you to think why that is. And then we'll offer at least a decent shot at an explanation. Maybe we'll have other explanations. Yeah. So actually, we'll leave you there in this video. And in the next video, we'll explain why, why we think an intuitive reason why it works. Mm -hmm.